Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Review since 10 a.m. And it's Sunday, July 23rd, 2023. Anyway, um, two days ago I went to Tulsa, and I went to um, GNC, and I also went to the vitamin shop. Um, I got this drink um, at the vitamin shop. It was like, um, I think it was $3, but it was no, no, on sale for like, um, I think $2.40, so I got a little bit cheaper. Um, but, um, the flavor I reviewed of this drink before I got at GNC, but, um, this one I got at the Vitamin Shop. But they didn't have the one I reviewed before, though, that I got from GNC, so that was interesting. But, um, anyway, they're not store exclusive, though. Um, but, yeah, this is a new kind of energy drink from Bucked Up. It's, like, their version of, like, the Celsius energy drinks. I already reviewed the, um, Green Apple one, but, um, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the Watermelon one. So, yeah, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Watermelon Bucked Up LFG Burn energy drink. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. LFG, let's effing go, you know, just saying. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, as a silver top of the silver tab, bombs of Best Buy Dayton production code. Best Buy March 30th, 2025, so it's still fresh for a while. So, I'm a labeled can with a smooth texture. A little bit rubbery texture, not like a smooth plastic, you know, like the Rise Fuel Energy drinks. This one has a little bit more of a grip, I guess. Bucked up around the top, it just says zero sugar all the way around the top of it. LFG Burn. Optimize fat loss with exercise, burn more calories during exercise. So yeah, it's a thermogenic energy drink and help you burn more calories, you know, when you exercise and stuff. Flavor watermelon, natural artificial flavors, 12 fluid ounces, 355 milliliters. It shows the watermelon, it has like seeds in it. Warning, this part is only intended to be consumed by healthy adults 18 years of age or older. Do not use this part if you're a pregnant or nursing and before consulting a licensed qualified healthcare professional, especially if you're taking any prescription drug or over the counter medication. With respect, you have or have been treated for, diagnosed with, have family history of any medical condition. Not consume caffeine from other sources while taking this part. Discontinue use two weeks prior to surgery, do not exceed two servings within any 24 hour period. So, in a cold, dry place, do not freeze, keep out reach of children. Each serving contains 160 milligrams caffeine. When you feel it, you just got bucked up. Instagram logo at bucked up. Hashtag get bucked up. Buckedupenergy.com. These symptoms have been evaluated by the FDA on 10 diagnosed treat care of and diseases. Paradoxine Alpha Size. Mito Burn. Paradoxine is a trademark registered by Suzuho Win Health International Co. Limited. Alpha Size is a registered trademark of Kemi Nutra. Mito Burn is a registered trademark of NNB Nutrition and protected by patents pending. Das Labs, manufactured exclusively for Das Labs, 781 Auto Mall Drive, number 102, American Fork, Utah, 84003, phone numbers 855-205-2825, manufactured in USA for Nabisco import ingredients, GMP good manufacturing practice, consistent quality, it shows American flag and the SKU and some other code. Watermelon flavor, other ingredients, carbonated water, natural and artificial flavors, taurine, malic acid, sucralose, caffeine and hydrous, 160 milligrams, sodium benzoate, and acetyl L tyrosine, isoflame potassium, B amino um, acid butyric acid, L biba, azimido burn, L theanine, alpha size, alpha GPC, paradoxine, and grains of paradise, paradoxine, hydrochloride, hooperzine A, and methylcobalaminum. Nutrition facts are says one can amount per certain calories, zero total fat, zero grams of percent, saturated fat, zero grams of percent, trans fat, zero grams, cholesterol, zero milligrams of percent, sodium, zero milligrams of percent, carbohydrates, one gram, zero percent, dietary fiber, zero grams of percent, total sugar, zero grams, includes zero grams, added sugar, zero percent, protein, zero grams, vitamin D, zero micrograms of percent, calcium, zero milligrams of percent, iron, zero milligrams of percent, potassium, zero milligrams of percent, vitamin B6, 1.7 milligrams, 100%. Vitamin B12, 2.4 micrograms, 100%. So yeah, it has the B vitamins and it has the caffeine, so yeah, it'll definitely get you lit. But um, anyway, that's pretty much the entire can, so I'll let you see it right quick. Uh, but yeah, now I have all three flavors that I was going to be reviewing, because I already did the apple one, and now I'm doing this one. In my next review, I'm reviewing the cherry one. Stay tuned for that review. Um, so yeah, I got all three flavors. <laughs> Yeah, but these are new. Um, you can get them at GNC in the vitamin shop. Walmart might get them too. And they might be a little bit cheaper at Walmart once they get them. I don't know though. Because Walmart has a normal bucked up energy drinks. And they also have the um, 
Those like the gamer ones. So I don't know if they'll get these or not. ingredients the warning I like how it goes from right at the top to the watermelon, like the green rind color at the bottom. Looks like a watermelon at the bottom, with like those lines and stuff. Looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. So anyway, now I'm going to shove the can up closer quick. I'm going to shake it up a little bit, open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. The watermelon bucked up LFG burn energy drink. It's like um, their version of like the Celsius energy drinks. It's like a thermogenic energy drink. It's gonna help you burn more calories when you exercise. Best by March 30th, 2025. Zero sugar. Let's effing go burn. The warning. It's one hundred and sixty milligrams caffeine. Das Labs. It's reflective and shiny. This key. For the other ingredients. I still have to get my phone fixed, so it's been having a little bit of a hard time focusing. Okay, it's pretty much the entire can. Anyway, now I'm gonna finish my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, I shut off the can. I'm gonna open it, taste it, and get my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, I open it, and the color is clear, not official colors. It's a little bit carbonated, but not too carbonated. A little bit bubbly. Um, but yep, anyway, I can already smell it a little bit. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. It smells like something I've had before. It reminds me of like um, some watermelon shampoo I used to use when I was a little kid. Or watermelon bubble bath. It has a little bit of like a soapy scent. Um, definitely like a clean watermelon scent. Um, has a little bit of a natural watermelon scent. Um, like when you get it and you like cut it up and stuff. 
but um, it also has a little bit of a candy watermelon set at the same time. So it's a little bit weird. It smells similar to like the um, old watermelon Rockstar Pure Zero. I think that might be the closest drink that I've had that smells like this. I don't know why, but some watermelon drinks I've been reviewing recently have actually smelled more like strawberry watermelon than just watermelon. This might have that, a little bit of that strawberry watermelon sort of scent. Reminds me a little bit of like the um, salted watermelon. I think it was the Triton energy drink that I got at 7-Eleven before. <sighs> yep, smells a little bit like that. Like a syrupy sort of watermelon. Like a concentrated like watermelon, but um... Definitely interesting though. It's like a soapy, natural like candy watermelon sort of scent. Yep, yep, yep. Um, but yeah, the closest drink I've had to this is probably the old watermelon Rockstar Pure Zero. Um, it smells a lot like that. Like really close, probably like 80% close, I guess. Um, but yeah, still smells pretty good. But um, anyway, I'm gonna try it. So here goes. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And yep. Yep. Tastes like how it smells. It's smooth. It's not too carbonated. You can probably chug it if you want to. It has a little bit of like a bubbly texture once on your tongue. Like when it's going in between your teeth and stuff. Um, yeah, the flavor wise. Um, definitely reminds me of the old Watermelon Rockstar Pure Zero, or like the, um, Salted Watermelon Triton. Has a little bit of a natural watermelon taste, but also a little bit of a candy watermelon taste at the same time. Like a Watermelon Jolly Rancher, but, um, might have a little bit of that zero sugar taste too, but, um, not too much though. Um, but yeah, it does have a little bit of like a... I don't know why that reminds me of like some watermelon shampoo or like watermelon bubble bath. Like how that smells. Um, that's what this tastes like a little bit. It's pretty good. It might taste a little bit weird, but um, I do like it though. But I might still think I um, definitely like the green apple one more than this one though. Because yeah, I really like green apple energy drinks, but um... This one's still pretty good. It's not the best watermelon energy drink that I've had before, but um, I actually do like it better than some watermelon energy drinks that I've had before. Um, it's actually pretty tasty. I already drank a little bit over half the can. Um, but yeah, definitely Gila has 160 milligrams caffeine, has B vitamins and stuff. So it's still say energy wise, it lasts about four and a half hours, about five and a half hours of energy, may work a little bit more. So oh yeah, boys, it'll definitely give you lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Energy wise, it works pretty good. It has a cool can design. It tastes good. Um, it might taste a little bit weird. I wish it didn't have like that um soapy, like um shampoo, like bubbly bath sort of taste, but um, um it's still a nice warm one flavor. Um, it doesn't taste too artificial, but um so it has a little bit of that candy taste too though, but also a little bit of a natural watermelon taste at the same time. It's a little bit hard to um, describe it, but um, yeah, it's pretty good. Energy Wise works good, it has a cool can design, it's okay price, it was on sale. I don't know if it'll be on sale whenever you get it. Because when I got the vitamin shop, it was like $3, but it was on sale for $2.40. Um, but with tax though, it'd probably be about $2.60, so almost $3 a can still, see what I mean? But at GNC, you can also find these drinks at some GNCs. Um, so def definitely be on the lookout, I guess. Check GNC and check the vitamin shop. Or you can probably order them online, you know, just saying. But um, it's pretty good. But um, yeah, I definitely like the green apple one better. I'll probably say the watermelon bucked up LFG burn energy drink. You know what, boys? You know what? I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. So, oh yeah, boys, it's still lit. So, oh yeah, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And help you burn more calories, you know, when you exercise. It's thermogenic energy drink. It's okay price. It tastes good. It 
tastes a little bit weird though at the same time. Energy wise it works really good, so yeah, definitely try it. Um, I definitely do like it, it's pretty good, but it's um, not my um, least favorite watermelon energy drink, but it's not my favorite either, so it's average I guess. Um, but yeah, still definitely try it, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And on my next review, I'm going to be reviewing the Wild Cherry Flavored Bucked Up LFG Burn Energy Drink, so don't without review. So I'm going to review some more videos, thanks for watching, see you guys later, peace out, and bye.